Praise the name of the living God. This is Reverend Prophet Anu coming your way with the word of God this Sunday. Our topic for today is you are what you were. You are what you were. Shall we pray? Father, we just want to thank you, want to bless you for this opportunity you've given us to listen to your word. We wear dresses, but we know that it is not for nothing. There is also the image of that which is divine. We pray that your spirit will lead us to an understanding of this as the word of God leads us. In Jesus' name, amen. As I said, the topic is, you are what you wear. In our communities and professions, we identify people by certain prescribed uniforms that they are required to wear when they are on duty. When you wear a particular uniform, like the khaki, you are identified as a soldier. And when you wear a certain uniform, you are identified as a policeman or woman. It is therefore expected that the, the dictates of that particular uniform that you wear, you have to go by it because you have decided to be a soldier or a policeman. The concept of what we put on daily has been used in the Bible to explain how metaphorically we, we are identified by those things that we put on. And then we realize that we put off certain clothes and we put on certain clothes. Let's look at the Bible to see how the Bible uses the concept of dressing, clothing, to teach us some lessons that God wants us to learn. We turn our attention to Colossians chapter 3 verses 12 to 15. Colossians 3, 12 to 15, I read, Since God chose you to be the holy people he loves, you must clothe yourselves with tender-hearted mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds us all together in perfect harmony. And let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts. For as members of one body, you are called to live in peace and always be thankful. Clothing, as we see it in this particular message, is equal to virtues. The clothes that we wear, that we wear can be seen as virtues. The clothes talked about in this text, therefore, are basically virtues that we are to put on or wear as we live and interact with others. There are three layers of dressing or clothes described here in this text. The first one is the inner dress or the inner clothes that we wear, like our shirts, our skirts that we wear. Two, there is also the belt. In the middle of the dresses that we wear as ladies, we have a belt. The men also, when they wear trousers or shorts, they have a belt that they put in. So the middle garment that we talk about is the belt that holds the clothes together, that holds our, our trousers or our shorts together. If we don't have a belt, our trousers will fall down. But sometimes the ladies don't have a belt in between, you see that the dress will not stand out. The third one is the outer garments or coats or jackets we put on on top of our inner shirts or our inner skirts that we wear. So we have three, the inner garments, the belts and the outer garments. Now when we talk about the inner dresses or the inner garments, it refers to two main types of virtues in this particular text. So when you look at these virtues, that we see, we see some things referred to in Colossians chapter 3 verses verse 12. Colossians chapter 3 verse 12. And the, the first part of these virtues that we are talking about, which is inner clothing, is how we treat others. How we treat others. 
how we treat others is used as a metaphor for the particular dress that we put, like a shirt or a dress that we put on after we have put on our singlets or our briefs. Colossians chapter 3 verse 12 says, Since God chose you to be the holy people he loves, you must clothe yourselves with tender-hearted mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Now, in this inner garment of how we treat others, we are asked that we should have tender sympathy. That means we should be merciful and be compassionate towards others. And that should be our inner dress that we wear as a virtue. Secondly, kindness. Being generous and sensitive to others in word and in deed. Thirdly, humility. Lonely attitude to God and people. Not being pompous. Not being proud. Not, not being arrogant towards others. It should be our inner proof of, of virtue that we have. Fourthly, gentleness. Gentleness here means polite, courteous. Being civil, being a gentleman or a lady, the way you talk to people should be gentle. You should be polite and courteous. It should be your inner clothing that you wear. Fifthly, patience. Patience meaning you should be tolerant, exercising self-control and self-restraint when provoked or angered. So these are inner clothes you are supposed to wear. Another set of inner clothes that we are supposed to wear is how we respond when we are mistreated. The first inner clothes that we wear, which are types of inner clothes, is how we treat others. The second group of inner clothes that we wear, because normally we have varieties of clothes, is when, how we respond when we are mistreated. Colossians 3.13 says, Make allowance for each other's faults, and forgive anyone who offends you, Remember, the Lord forgives you, so you must forgive others. So, in this particular inner clothing of how you respond or react when you are administrated is accommodation, being accommodative. He says, make allowance for each other's faults. Bearing with one another, making room for other people's faults. Then, secondly, he says, forgive the one who offends you. It's an inner clothing of a forgiving spirit. It means to do a favor, to gratify, to pardon people when they even step on your toes. So people step on and say, do you know who I am? That is not an in, a good inner clothing. To give people the benefit of the doubt. You may be so hurt, but just let things go and let go. Because that is what God wants you to do. God will take over and be able to deal with the one who is hurting you. Don't take the law into your hands because God has forgiven you and he's still forgiving you. So you should not be so uh, vengeful uh, when people do things against you. That is the inner clothing that you wear. That is how you treat others and how you respond when you are mistreated. The second clothing that you wear is the belt. And the belt here is developed, uh, described as love. That is the love. You, shall, you have to put on the belt of love. Colossians 3, 14 says, Above all, clothe yourself with love, which binds us all together in perfect harmony. The word love here is agape, meaning goodwill or benevolence. It is described by Paul as the bond of perfection, the perfect tie that binds human communities together. Or the other inner uh, virtues that you are talking about has been that is the one that binds all your clothing, your trousers, your dress, and everything together. Your inner dress, which is your shirt, which is kindness, which is mercy. Your inner dress, which is patience and tolerance and accommodation, is tied by a belt of love. Without love, none of the other inner virtues that you have can last or stand. As stated in 1 Corinthians 13, if I have all these and I don't have love, I have nothing. Whatever you have can be put together and bound together so as to stand with love. With love, other, other things can be maintained. Without love, nothing can be maintained. Now, 
the outer dress that you wear that is the third one we talked about the inner dress we talk about the belts we are now going to talk about the outer dress after you've worn your shirt what else do you wear on top colossians 3 15 and let the peace that comes from christ rule in your heart for as members of one body you are called to live in peace and always be thankful there are two important things peace and thankfulness you are called to peace and thankfulness as your outer garment or clothes or apparel you are called to put on peace as a coat as an overdress peace means giving out tranquility being reconciliatory being an arbiter bringing unity and together togetherness and oneness so this is what you have made you are to be seen as a man or a woman of peace that's your outer garment when they see you, they should see peace around you as a coat, as a jacket. Amen. Then the second outer garment is thankfulness. Put on thankfulness as a jacket or as a hat or as a scarf. Being grateful and gracious. Yes. Being appreciative. And this goes with pleasantness and smiles. If you wear a smile, that is the glove you have on top or coat or the nice hat that you have. If you wear a frown, that is a glove you display to people who meet you. Do you wear a smile or you wear a frown? Because when you wear a smile as a coat or, 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 or as, as your overall, when people see you, they are happy. It's contagious. When you wear a frown and people see you, they want to move away. So what do you wear? Do you wear a, a smile or do you wear a frown? Surely you are what you wear. Either a frown or a smile as your outer garment. In conclusion, I'll say that I belong to two groups where I see that God has been using these groups to teach me lessons about what we wear and the two things I've learned in these groups that relates to what we wear is that laughter and love is able to bring unity togetherness and progressiveness but hate and bitterness it brings distraction disunity and disharmony that's what I've learned in these two groups I belong to a tennis club on the University of Campus uh, University of Capos campus and I also am, I'm also a member of my high school student association from Ganata High School Dodua. Both groups have been in existence and are growing in strength and membership. The tennis club has been in existence for more than 10 years. In the tennis club there are times of very heated arguments, sometimes disagreements to breaking points but somewhere along the line someone will just break with dimensions of love and laughter and humor and by morning the greetings on our platform is good morning good and wonderful people on our tennis platform with my high school year group we have a group of principals structuralists and a group of pragmatic and flexi flexible people no matter how far the argument goes by those who are structuralists and they are principled and they are policy minded with the other group who are so so flexible about things no matter how the argument goes we still come back to laughter love and humor i just had a dream last night after speaking to mb Botte, my year group mate before going to bed and I dreamt that, as he normally does, he sang one of his love songs in an audio recorder with one of his uh, jokes and humorous uh, expressions and sent it to the group at a crunch meeting that he could not attend. And when we listened to it together at the meeting, we burst out into an uncontrollable laughter. In the dream, our senior prefects, when we were in school, Edward Anna, who then was seriously addressing the group was beside himself as we all laughed together. So in a summary, 
the heated discussions, tensions were just calmed down by the humorous song, love song, and the juice from our brother Ibi Boti. So what I'm saying is that we should wear love, laughter, and humor. We should not wear tensions, hatred, and bitterness. Because when you wear hatred, bitterness, and a frown, you're going to destroy a group, you're going to destroy yourself. Hatred and bitterness will destroy you, but love and laughter is now ready to mend you. So give love, laughter, peace, unity, kindness, patience, forgiveness a chance as the dress that you wear. And when you wear those dresses, God is going to use it as a channel of grace to bless many people. And you shall be called blessed because you are what you wear. And wear the clothes that God has given to us, which is his own likeness. And when you wear those clothes, which is first the, the, the inner clothing of, 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 of patience, the inner clothing of uh, being able to, 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 to be kind to people, to be tender-hearted to people. The belts of love, loving people irrespective of who they are or what they do. The outer garment of peace, tranquility. The outer garment of appreciation and thankfulness. Put on the clothes that have been prescribed for you by the Bible and put off what the world and Satan wants you to wear. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Reverend Professor Adam coming your way with the word of God. Thank God so much for this word. Let us wear what God wants us to wear and put off what Satan wants us to use to destroy ourselves. Every Sunday at 7.30, I will come on your way with the word of God on my Instagram, my Facebook, and YouTube. So make a date with me this Sunday and every Sunday at 7.30 a.m. and share this 